Previously on I Want to Be a Hilton, Kathy Hilton continued educating her protege in the ways of high society by sending them to the Brooklyn Museum for a crash course in the arts. Then teams Park and Madison competed in a cultural scavenger hunt that took them across the entire city. Team Park had a rough start with Brendan and Vanessa battling for leadership. Because we can allot ourselves enough time okay, to come back. Okay, let's focus in together. Let's talk. Let's talk. Work together. Causing dissension in the ranks. You got a map and you got a cell phone. Yeah, but we don't it's know the risk. situation we're getting into. While Jabe and Latricia quickly racked up points for Madison. But Madison lost it in the end when Anne, Jackay, and Yvette shocked their team by failing to make it back on time, thus forfeiting the game and making a spectacle of themselves in the process. <laughs> Park celebrated their third consecutive win. Tensions on Team Madison mounted to an all-time high because in an unprecedented elimination, two people were sent home. Wait a minute, I'll let you talk. Madison had to vote off one of its own teammates. Anne. 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 So Anne sang her swan song, and Kathy decided that Yvette was dancing to a tune all her own. You're not on the list. And she too was sent home, leaving Madison with only three players left. Who will impress the mother of all socialites? Find out on I Want to Be a Hilton. angry sometimes and you're just like bam and you light up no i, I do I, I can't that's deal with my that. personality well, and i'm just I'm, letting you know how i feel because if i don't say something now it's gonna be three days later i'm gonna blow up it's gonna ruin our well, teamwork I, okay, okay, and i, I don't want to do that i don't i don't want to disrespect ruined. you and embarrass you in a situation you got to chill out a little bit because you feel like it's just necessary for you to drive the situation i'm gonna do things my way and you're gonna do things your way i definitely see a power struggle going on between uh Vanessa and Brendan. Two people fight for leadership in a sense like that or fight for control or dominance. It always can get ugly and it can hurt our team. But if I don't agree with you, I'm not gonna sit there and be like, oh, I'm gonna like be hypersensitive about the situation and call I'm not out. being hypersensitive. First and foremost, I think Brendan's a very insecure man. He constantly has to steal other people's ideas. Vanessa and I, there's no, it's no big secret that we don't like each other. Like, I simply cannot stand the woman. I simply don't want anything to do with her. I don't think she's real. I think she's fake, and she turns it on and off at a moment's notice. I feel like I feel split completely. And that's, that is exactly how we're going to lose this thing. During the course of the last three eliminations, Team Madison has lost four of its team members. It was seven of us, y'all. But you know what? You sit back here, and you look at this, and you look at the seven people that were here, and, and you realize that the three that are still here, they're the most sane. Myself, Jabe, and Jack K, we are fighters, we're survivors, and we haven't come this far for no reason. We already have so much team and camaraderie, and they see that, we're automatically gonna bond as a team, and hopefully beat them right. at the next game. Down! The contestants receive invitations to one of New York's finest restaurants, Chanterelle. Join Kathy Hilton for a luncheon with her friend, supermodel Frederique Vanderwall. Hi, everyone. Hi. Welcome to Chanterelle. Kathy Hilton invites fashion designer Cynthia Raleigh and Tracy Taylor, fashion director of Marie Claire magazine, to lunch to prepare the contestants for the finer points of acquiring the perfect look. 
I guess these runway models are not quite as buff as you guys are. <laughs> I guess not. What I've brought along today are just a few things that I think are sort of timeless classics. I live, breathe, eat fashion. Fashion is my entire life. I'd rather buy a pair of shoes than eat. Before we get to the next challenge, we're going to have to do a little mixing it up and deal with this situation. We've got three people on Madison and seven people still on Park. And we all kind of knew that since we've been kind of kicking Madison's ass, that it was going to be time to shake it up a little bit. Team Park, you're going to have to send one person over to Team Madison. And then Team Madison, you'll choose one member from Team Park. We're going to start with Team Park's vote. I need to have one name on each card. Nikki, we'll start with you. Tell me who you chose. I chose Brendan. Oh. I chose Vanessa. I chose Brendan. Vanessa. So two votes for Brendan and two votes for Vanessa. Vanessa. Brendan. Okay, Vanessa, you're the tiebreaker. Uh, I chose myself. I had chosen myself, mainly because, unfortunately, Brennan likes to take all the glory for most of my ideas. I felt like if I was on the Madison team, I would have benefited the Madison team more so than Buttonheads with Brennan on the Park team. They are not going to like that kind of person in their house. They have been together for too long. There's three people that have been through the gamut. She's going to go over there and tell them how it's going to be. Uh-uh. I tell you, Latricia's not going to put up with it. Jabe's not going to put up with it. They have trimmed their fat in their team, and they're ready to win. Team Madison, who did you choose from Team Park? We chose Rashad. We chose Rashad because we felt like he could be a good asset to help us win. As it all wrapped up, I realized that everything happened for a reason and a purpose, because I'm on a team with Vanessa and three other quality players, because they're all survivors. They've been through a whole lot. And we got us five strong players that can dominate the rest of this game. OK, so you ready to hear about your next challenge? Yep. Yes, ma'am. You've all come so far in your training. Now it's time you look the part. The next challenge is all about creating your own personal style. Tomorrow, you'll be putting on a fashion show and modeling two outfits for a sophisticated New York audience and a panel of fashion experts. You'll be judged on your modeling, the presentation, attitude, and style, of course. Now, the fashion show has two parts. First, you'll be modeling evening wear. And to make it interesting, I'm sending you all downtown to a vintage clothing store called Alice Underground. You're going to have to shop for very dramatic evening attire. For the second part of the fashion show, each team will choose an entertaining theme created from your own clothes and any items you find in your hotel suites. And choose wisely, because creativity and imagination always count. Work together, because this week, two people from the losing team will be going home. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I think you're going to have a good time. To test their fashion savvy and teamwork, the contestants are given only 30 minutes to shop for the fashion show at vintage clothing store Alice Underground. Well, I really wasn't in no big hurry because I'm a man. It don't take a man that long to shop. This is crazy. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Were you kidding me? Fashion's not my, uh, my expertise. Rashad basically helped me by throwing shirts at me, pants. Tell me to try them on, see if this fit. This looked OK. They fit? Well, that's my size. That's a perfect color. We're going to have to find like a satin shirt. Vanessa, her first comment to me was, oh, you need some work. And I'm like, hello, obviously. I don't know. Just the thought that color's not really coming back. Even though Latricia and I haven't asked for her opinion, she has jumped right in. Here, hold that, and let's find your shirt to go with it. That's not going to fit you, baby. That's like my size. Today, our first challenge as a separated team, but surprise, surprise, Vanessa is also starting to offend Latricia by some of the things that she's saying to her. Latricia, if we have to sew it and cut it, I'll cut it and sew it. I don't think so. This will look good. I've seen a side of Vanessa that I've never seen before. She is really bossy to the point to where she don't want to hear nothing nobody else has to say. What she says pretty much 
is what goes. And that bothers me. In the Melrose Hotel Suites, teams Park and Madison work into the night, choosing their theme and designing their wardrobe for tomorrow's fashion show competition. So I think I'm gonna sew the material, some access material in here. Tonight, we're doing a little show and tell of all of the things we picked out today at the store, and we're just trying to workshop it and see what works and what doesn't. I'm not sure, like, does that look absolutely horrible? Like... I think what's that, I think what you're doing is you when I put that material within the jeans. Yeah. That's tight. It's very tight. Yeah. I just hope we're not counted against you. like body them. size, you know? I, we shouldn't be, because I'm working this. Yeah. If I could design her clothes, I'd pull these drapes off right now and cut those up and make something out of those at this point. And I think it'll work. Wherever I am, I'm a leader. I think that what Team Madison lacked before was structure. I'm not there to be the boss. I'm just there to add structure so we can actually start winning some events. You need to be creative. I'd like to cut this plant and tape it to the back of your head. It's such a... This flower, look. Ooh, that'd be cool. Look, like, see this right here? Look behind you. What's the guy's... This is the first challenge without Vanessa Rashad. You know, we got like guys coming up with these crazy ass ideas. It's definitely a loss, you know, to lose them too. Oh, we're in lampshades. Yeah, that they feel stretch out. Like, these, like got, on our heads, like as hats. Oh yeah, we got tons of lampshades in here. We can't take these off. Yeah, you can. We do a bunch of lampshades. Why don't we each come out as another member of the group? Like you be me. That idea has been done like so many times in the runways. Really? Guys dressing like girls? Yeah, like Dolce & Gabbana, they've done it like three times. I was truly, truly scared for the first time, like since this whole competition has begun, that we were going to lose this one. there was one point where I just kept doing the jerk. So I took a shower to kind of wake up and to continue to iron and, you know, finish up like little things that I had to get done. Oh. Hey guys. By now you each have decided what you will be wearing in today's fashion show. Now you have to make another decision. Each team must pick one person as an announcer for your presentation on the catwalk. You got it. They said it was unanimous. I'm, I'm really like, I, you know, I, I feel proud. I feel privileged to, uh, to have that opportunity, you know? Who's going to be our announcer? We're aware. Let's say about it. Mm -hmm. All right. Meanwhile, I am treating you to a full makeover at Warren Tracomi Salon. Your ride will be waiting for you after breakfast. OK, that was worth getting up for. top-notch salon in the city, getting everything done from makeup to hair to nails, and I just, I couldn't ask for more. Do men get pedicures? Yes, they do. They come with a boyfriend. First time for everything. I bet this is going to hurt, huh? Yep. I'm going to do your color. We'll fix it, make you a little bit more elegant, a little bit more ladylike. Where do you get your feet in, did they tell you? It's uh, almost what we're drinking. <laughs> Now we'll work on those roots and try to make it a little bit more modern, not so bleached out. I'm really nervous about getting my hair done. I've always been white, bleach blonde, and now I'm a little scared about how it's going to turn out. I'm not getting a Brazilian wax, huh? Don't, oh my god. <laughs> Damn, I'm out. It's the first time anybody touched my feet. My feet are really sensitive. I laugh when I take my socks off. <clears throat> so, uh... <laughs> oh, 
you like to marry me? No rush. I was married once already. Everybody's walking around with foil on their heads. Yeah, I look like I could pick up a TV station in damn Spain. You're gonna do the other half too, though, right? <laughs> oh, it burns, it burns, it burns, it burns, it burns, it burns, it burns. This is the most makeup I've ever worn in my entire life has been here, and the most dresses I have ever worn in my entire life has been right here. All right, I'm on my way. Follow me. Come with me, honey. Come on. But that's the shampoo bottle. Oh, but honey, we got something else for you today right now. We'll get to your shampoo later. Okay, you smell good. Thank you. It's not as good as chicken. No, no, you need to stop. <laughs> So I'm going to introduce myself and one of the world's premier runway coaches, Willie Ninja. Think of the Ninja Mutant Turtles, you got me. I've worked with Paris Hilton, the Hearst Girls. What we're going to do for you today is teach you how to walk. And if you could outdo me, then you don't need to learn nothing from me. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> what I want to do first, I want to see how you walk normally, because I have to see how your body moves. Get him. <laughs> and back. Very cute, but what was those little stops? Because you got to take all of this in if I go by to Oh, baby, I can catch it all in any direction. <laughs> it's OK. But, so but I want to show you what you're going to have to learn, and then I'm going to show you what you're going to have to learn. Despite the high heels, I can still do the both parts. Basically, this is a female catwalk, and I'm going to show you all the turns right now. what I call a single H into a half turn with a pivot. For a guy, you don't have to do the same yeah, thing. appreciate that. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and turn. Go, Daddy. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, step over. Got it? One, two, and back up right. Left, right. Yes. One, two, three, four, Step over. Team Park's gonna kick butt in the fashion show just because we got girls that know that's all they live for is fashion. Jules and Nikki, I mean, my God. Sometimes I think members in our group get a little too cocky. And it's one thing to be confident about it. It's another thing to get cocky about it. And once you, like, lose that perspective is when I just think that things are going to start to fail. Missions are going to start to fail. I'm not going to say that we're at an advantage because I like to keep a level head. I just feel confident that we're all excited um, about the challenge ahead and we, we plan to do excellent. And this is going to be the first win for, for Madison. All right, you guys look great. Mission accomplished. The contestants prepare to debut their new look for the runway competition at Club View before a packed crowd of New York's fashion elite. We're going to set it right here. Right here. JW looks tastier than a box of chocolates. Backstage at the fashion show was chaos. We had five minutes to change. Everyone was changing in the same room. Clothes were flying everywhere. It was crazy. I'd like to welcome everyone to an evening of fashion. And I'm thrilled to have the distinct pleasure of introducing my panel of judges, my friend Frederick Vanderwall, author Bettina Zilka, and Tracy Taylor, fashion director of Marie Claire magazine, and style expert Lloyd Boston. Tonight, our contestants will be judged on their wardrobe, creativity, and overall presentation. The team with the average highest score wins. OK, let's get started.
for a romantic evening in Chinatown, Jules is wearing this sexy yet sleek oriental inspired elegant silk gown. That first shot down the runway, I was so scared. I was so nervous. I mean, it was, it was grueling for all of us. The sultry midnight blue is a must for the fall season. For those brisk New York nights, Jared is prepared with his powder blue turtleneck. Coming from a trailer to the city of New York is totally different, but I, I'm definitely adapting. As far as the clothes I'm wearing now is something I can get used to. It makes me feel better about myself and more confident. Nikki is breaking hearts all over town with this exquisite slip dress. JW sports his pinpoint white cotton shirt unbuttoned up top. Inspired by Rick Hilton's personal style. I'm 30 years old. I've been doing my hair the same way for the last 10 years. When you get your new look, it's like taking the old mold and crushing it on the ground and like remolding it yourself again. And now you have to, it's almost relearning everything. You're learning how to style yourself. You're learning how to dress yourself. And it's so exciting to, to, to have something new. It's very rare. There's something very rare. Uh, very Rick Hilton about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just continue to just keep your angels of protection around us. In Jesus' name, amen. And now our next category is evening attire with T. Madison. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the moment you've all been waiting for. We got styles coming at you from casual to classic to classy. Give it up for T. Madison, ladies and gentlemen. Was shot on the microphone. He was cool as far as trying to get the, the crowd initiated, but I think he just lost touch of the fact that he wasn't at a rap concert. Latricia is wearing a Ralph Lauren black cocktail dress. When a person wears clothes, they also wear attitude. And my attitude is something that I carry around with me so I can have on old dirty rags and I still look good. Jay now brings us a confident look. I was comfortable wearing what I was wearing, but as far as what style is and what style's not, then I, I really couldn't tell you. Jack Hay turns a little black dress by Ann Taylor into a black tie at bitch. I shop at Salvation Armies back home in Chicago, and you know, now I have my Charlie's Angels look. I'm still always gonna be a tomboy at heart, but at least now I can walk the park. Woo! Did you see that? Vanessa is wearing a premier classic black cocktail dress. This classic style dress is in sequence design. The shot is an elegant style. Wearing a pinstriped black suede jacket is an eagle. All we know, all we know. We knew things were close. And we knew that essentially it's going to come down to this last event, this steam event. All right, we all know what we're doing. Don't step on my hair. No, it's going to be fabulous. We've asked each team to come up with a theme from items out of their suitcases and their hotel suites. Our teams will be judged on creativity, originality, and style. So, Brendan, let's go for it. Tell us about Team Park. We decided to bring the streets of New York City here to the runway for you tonight. The Naked Cowboy shows off his physique. When I saw JW, I was horrified. We decided to bring the streets of New York City here to the runway for you tonight. The Naked Cowboy shows off his physique. Don't be fooled by his look. This cowboy boots, horse hair, belt came straight from Texas. His stylist cowboy hat hails from Mississippi. And if you give him a dollar, he'll play you a tune on his six string guitar. That's original. Okay. Yeah, the rating has just gone up. This paranoid New Yorker has become so obsessed with terror threats that he never leaves home without his trusty gas mask and camouflage shorts. Cut his pants off. But even he has time to stop and toss a dollar in the naked cowboy's boot. You don't have to look far to find a model on the streets of New York City. Whether shopping in Soho or strutting her stuff on the catwalk, this model knows how to work her stuff. 
With her lampshade-inspired hat, oversized black sunglasses, and matching black dress, she doesn't like anyone taking a look for free. But even she Not can spare true. a dollar for our dear Naked Cowboy. Although former Mayor Rudy Giuliani did a fabulous job cleaning up Times Square, it's still not uncommon to find a gentleman's friend looking for a profitable happy hour. A gentleman's friend. Whether her seductive hot pink miniskirt or enticing black tight shirt, she knows how to work a corner even while shelling out a few dollars for her personal business associate, the Naked Cowboy. Unbelievable. Tonight's theme is lampshades. The lampshade represents the light within our hearts as we shift through different stages of development, starting from childhood and on to retirement. This is Vanessa. She is a lamp in a little girl's room. She lights up the life of a little girl who is just beginning to dream. This is Jackay. She lights up the life of a prom queen by illuminating the future and not allowing the past to burn out. This is Latricia. She is a college student's lamp. She lights up the life of a bright college student working her thing, <laughs> getting financial aid, partying. This is Rashad. He lights up the life of the young professional who dreams of being the CEO. This is Jade. He lights up the life of a retired man kicking back on his ranch. The contestants wait backstage as the panel of judges deliberate. I mean, I hate to say the first one, but it's so tough. It the is. second one was so, so sort of deeper. Thumbs up for Jared. Yeah, he looks Ooh. sharp. Yeah, he sharp. looks sharp. He's absolutely uh, ready for any New York model agency to sign him. Next, Rashad. The yeah, shirt so tucked yeah. out again. Absolutely. You know, the wonderful little tie. If a man elects to tuck out his shirt, though, it can't be too long. And Brandon went to the gray shoot. Giving a nod to Rick yeah. Hilton, very smart. And I thought that they really were kind of a thinking team when yes. it came down to their themes and their choices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They really are strategizing. Tonight's prize is a photo shoot and layout with world-renowned photographer Antoine Verglas. <laughs> The losing team will be meeting me tomorrow to find out what went wrong and who's responsible. And unfortunately, not one of you, but two of you will be going home. Both teams did an outstanding job at their first fashion show. Madison, your lampshade theme was an interesting choice, but a bit confusing. Team Park, you chose the Streets of New York theme, which definitely pushed the envelope but the crowd really did enjoy themselves. We've tallied up the votes, and the winner is... Team Park. Walking runways and fashion shows and getting our makeup done, our hair done. I mean, I could definitely get used to this lifestyle. You man. Great, perfect. 
This is so unreal. I can't believe this is happening. Beautiful, big smile. Voila, super up. It makes you feel like somebody famous. Super up. Beautiful. <laughs> That's great. Beautiful. Voila. I've never been around anything like this, so it's hard to have any expectations, but I hope to look really good. <laughs> I hope to have something that I can put in a frame for mom. Super. Don't look too mean to me, huh? you can be nice sometimes. <laughs> Perfect. Very good. We're getting pretty far, and my team has not lost one mission. And because of that, a lot of us have gotten close. So eventually, I mean, it's just one winner in the end. And it's, it's hard, I mean, to think about, you know, going back to your regular humdrum life. So here we are at Elimination Day again. Like any other elimination, you know, it's, it stinks and it's not a very thrilling or happy situation. I have to turn my back on Jabe or Jack K and we've all just struggled so much together. I feel that Vanessa and Rashad are new to this. They're kind of blowing it off and they don't, they don't believe us when we tell them that when we go f up for elimination, the fireworks start, the sparks fly. Sometimes the job is dirty and it's hard, but it has to get done. Kathy Hilton sends a limousine to take Team Madison to the residence for a meeting to determine who's staying on to live like a Hilton and who's not on the list. Team Madison recruited me. They wanted me to help out their team. We didn't succeed this time, but next time, if I'm still here, we we'll make sure we do. Vanessa, it's just the whole lampshade thing was her idea. It, it caused us to lose again. You know, if she knows so much about modeling, she should have been like, you know what? The more skin we showed, the better. And we would have won, and we wouldn't have to be here today. I came here to win, of course, naturally. I can imagine myself in in, in the final. I don't lose. With Team Park, usually I'm enjoying the rewards of the challenge, and now I'm in a completely different spot, and that's, uh, that's tough. Hi, Sister Kathy. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Team Madison, here we are again. As you know, Two of you are going home tonight. We've had this discussion one too many times. Four to be exact. OK, Jackie, you got two members from Team Park. Do you feel let down? I do feel let down. I mean, we, <laughs> we thought, wow, we have two of the top-notch smart people from Park. Park, the good luck charms. And right. we still didn't win. If you had to pick from Team Park right now, just from your observation. I still wouldn't have minded uh, going with Brendan. It's because he's such a group leader from that team, I thought, on the one hand, he might be a benefit to our team. Mm -hmm. What about you, Latricia? Do you feel that the two people that you brought over from Team Park were good choices? We gelled well together, but it's something about Brendan. When we were out on stage and he was doing the catwalk, I looked over at the judges and they were just smiling and like, oh, I really like him and he's, yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed. The cockiness that he gives off, I don't know what it is. Well, he's definitely developed. Yes. No, no, no. wrong, huh? Well, he's changed a lot, it seems. Oh. Oh, Sorry, listen, I got you. Embarrassed. Oh, you're naughty, naughty, naughty. <laughs> Whose idea was the lampshades? Yours? I would say Vanessa came Vanessa up with the lampshades. Came up but with the lamp it wasn't one person's idea. Vanessa was gung ho, definitely pushing the lampshades. I think she I said lampshades sure would unify rose. us. This is what we all have in common. Vanessa is very dominating, and because she's in the fashion industry, I trusted what she was saying.
Jay, did you have any ideas? As far as this, this last event? Mm -hmm. um, very few. Mm -hmm. um, fashion was not my thing. I, I'll tell you that really fast. Um, I, I tried to listen and try to learn of the people before, but I, I still didn't catch what was in style and what wasn't. But and your I don't, outfit they, was clearly not cool. That was the one outfit that um, I probably did all of my own. So evidently that was what bombed. If you felt lacking, why didn't you ask for someone's opinion? See what I'm getting at? Everybody pretty much decorated themselves in that, that deal. That doesn't sound like teamwork to me, though. Rashad, do you take responsibility for the way Jabe looked? I would take responsibility. You would? When me and Jabe were shopping, it was like, uh, let's get what we can and what we cannot use. We will cipher it out. So the fact at the end of the day, this kind of came off sloppy. Do you feel responsible for that? If the emceeing wasn't up to par to the subjective opinion of the judges, then that's my responsibility. If my outfits or my outfits that I helped with Jabe wasn't up to par with the subjective opinion of the judges, then that's my responsibility. This does not make me, this does not break me. What happened is what happened. So that's a very long yes. Yes. Vanessa, you clearly had Vegas showmanship when you came out. Thank you. Jack A, you had your own pose. And then the rest of you just kind of were doing your own thing. I was the college student, so I went from prom to midway adulthood, and that's what I was trying to convey. It wasn't conveyed. We were trying to convey were the different stages of life. But you know what? When you have only a minute or two, you got to seal the deal. Seal it. I'm just being honest, the other side electrified the crowd. Had I known it was going to be something that was based on the crowd's reaction, I would have gone out in my bra and panties. But you're missing the point. You're at a fashion show. You have to really strike the pose and make it memorable and stand out. It just almost looked like, oh, well, I don't know what to do, so I'm going to put, you know, glue a few newspapers on it. I mean, it was a message, and we put it out there. It failed. We took a risk. But I don't see the other team being fashionable. The other team was very exciting and fun. This was a really hard night. Thank you so much. I have some serious thinking to do, and I'm going to write my list. OK, I'll see you in a little bit. Oh, God, I don't know who's going tonight. It could be Vanessa and Rashad, because they were the two newbies, so we can easily vote them out. We hardly got to know them. The stakes are high. There's a couple hundred thousand dollars on the line. You can't afford to lose. In my hand, I have my list of the people that will be continuing on with us. When you hear your name, please rise and join Team Park in the dining room. The first name on my list is Jack A. The second name on my list tonight is Vanessa. I only have one more name on this list tonight, and two of you will be going home. Jabe, you're a hard worker. You get the job done, as you said. You have to step up to survive in any game. Latricia, you've been in the hot seat as much as anyone here. I know you have a strength, but don't shy away ever from your instincts. Rashad, you have your own style, but in a team effort, you have to share yourself with others. 
Now I'm going to read the remaining name on my list. The person that will be continuing on with us is Latricia. Keep winning. Kudos. That's that fun. makes us better fighters. But if you ain't got a billionaire, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. I swear. Jabe, Rashad, I'm sorry you're not on the list. This whole process, because it's so different, has been a learning experience. Some good and some bad, but I'm still going home, going to be the same person I am. I'll be digging ditches tomorrow. It's been fun. It's a test of character, Thank you. and I believe I held on to my integrity. So I'm very proud about that. Black, All right, thank you're you. gonna make it, I know it. Thank you. Okay. Let's thank see. you. Good luck. Thank you. One last ride. These nights are never easy for any of us, but you all are hanging in here, so that's good. Ooh, okay. Whew. But we're here to celebrate all of you. Here is to the good life. To the good, good life. life. To be rich, be a hill, to be top of the list. It's the high society life.